Hello there, and top of the morning to you. I don't know why I'm doing that, but hey, what's up? It is Toxic here, and I'm going to show you how to use the logistics module incorporated within Ace 3. So if you don't know what Ace 3 is, it's basically a mod for Armor 3 that makes things a whole lot more realistic. The logistics modules basically just cover the infield repairs for vehicles. So I'll show you quickly how to set it up. I'm using 3.3.2, I think, version of, uh, of Ace 3, and... So first thing you want to do is go into your modules. The first thing you want to chuck down is through Ace Logistics, the repair settings, and I'll go through those now. So allow repair, either an engineer or a spe repair specialist only. Otherwise, you can have any class do the repair. That's up to you. Just choose which one you want. For demonstration's sake, I'm going to choose engineer only. Now, allow a wheel repair. So this is basically to change over a busted wheel. Again, anyone, engineer only or repair specialist only. I'm going to leave it on anyone. The repair threshold. You can see with the tool tip what the maximum damage is that can be repaired with a tool kit. And the repair threshold, the maximum damage that can be repaired by an engineer. I'm just going to leave those as default for now. Remove toolkit on use. So basically what that means is if you do a repair, you'll lose the toolkit that's in your inventory. Now I have noticed, and I'm pretty sure it's not just me, that this is a bit buggy at the moment. You don't seem to be losing your toolkit. So I'll say yes, but you'll see when I uh, jump into the game that you don't actually lose it. it. Must be just a bug in this version. Full repair locations, so you can choose anywhere, a repair vehicle only, repair facility only, you, you can see the choices there. So basically what that means is where can you do 100% repair? So anywhere, if you're an engineer, you can do 100% repair and get that vehicle back up and running. If you choose repair for facility only, for example, which I'm going to choose, that means you can only do 100% repair at a repair facility, even though you're an engineer. So I'm going to leave that on repair facility and I'll show you how to set that up. Who can do a full repair? An engineer only, a repair specialist only, or anyone? For this stage, I'm going to put it as engineer only. And I'll also show you how to assign different units to be an engineer so it just depends on how you want your mission set up add spare parts so basically that will add a spare wheel inside the inventory of any vehicle so I'm going to leave that on yes and wheel repair if you need a toolkit or not I'm going to leave it on none hit ok now I'm going to add another module and that will be Sign engineer. So what that is, is if I get out of here, I've added an engineer class on here and I've named him to ENG1. So if you've only got engineers, that's fine. You don't even have to add this module, but I've added here a standard rifleman. I've named him ENG2. I can actually assign him to be an engineer without him actually being an engineer class, if that makes sense. So if you've only got engineers to do it and you've got you know plenty of engineer units, you really don't even have to add this module. But if you've got, say, a rifleman, for example, and you, you want him to have the engineer capabilities, you'll need to add this assign engineer. So what you can do is just put in the, the unit name in here, so ENG2. And you can have ENG3 and so on and so on. Just separate them with a comma just to assign them. If the unit is an engineer, you don't have to actually put their name in there. So just hit OK. And you can see that I've named this guy ENG2. So if you do want to assign somebody to be an engineer and they're not an engineer class, you do have to name them. You do have to specify that name within that module. You can see here that they're grouped. You don't have to group them. You can ungroup them, you don't have to synchronize them or anything like that. One more that I'm going to put in is the assign repair facility. Now this is going to be the same whether you do a repair facility or a repair vehicle, it's pretty much the same thing. So what that means is you can designate an area to be the repair facility where you can do 100% repairs. 
And all you need to do there is do a trigger. So I'm going to just chuck it around this area for, for now. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay. So you can see that it contains that whole area. And then just synchronize them up. So assign repair facility to that trigger. So that means that anywhere within that trigger will be a designated repair facility. Now again, I'm pretty sure it's not just me. There seems to be an issue with it. Um, as I said, this is version 3.2.2. Hopefully that gets fixed in another version. That's pretty much it. You can still have a look at the other modules. Uh, a sign a pair vehicle, for example. And all you have to do is, well, I'll do it for you just so you can see. So I'm going to call it, say, car one. I'm going to make car one a repair vehicle. So if you just add an empty car, doesn't matter what that'll do. Just as long as you name it car one, then that car is a designated repair vehicle. So depending on your, where is it, repair settings, if you've got this repair facility or vehicle, then you can take a busted car to that vehicle. You don't have to actually take it over to the repair facility to do 100% repair. Hope that makes sense. So I'll jump into the mission you can have a look. So I've currently spawned in as an engineer and you can see here that I've got a busted vehicle here. As an engineer, you can choose to repair different components of the vehicle. Engine, body, got the fuel tank, uh, you can switch out the wheels. So if I choose to do the body, for example, you can see in the top right there, it says body partially repaired. That means, that's because that I have got the module set up that that area over there or the vehicle over there is the only area that I can do 100% repair. So what I'll do is I'll drive over to that area. As I said though, it is a bit buggy so it may or may not work. Make sure you turn the engine off or it's not going to work at all. And let's see. Uh, normally in under interactions you'll have full repair but yeah, looks like it's not going to work. Now I've spawned in this time with just being a normal soldier and as you can see because I've specified that that unit is a engineer I can still do repairs. If you want to swap out a wheel you can just hit remove wheel. And you'll find because we've set it up in the cargo of the vehicle there's a spare wheel in there. Just unload it. You can go and pick this bad boy up carry it over to where you need to uh, get the wheel replaced and drop it. Now you can change the wheel. There we go, happy days. And you can always load these extra tyres back into the vehicle and you'll see it's in the cargo. There it is. Now as I said, because it is a bit buggy, I've still got the toolkit in there even though I told the modules to get rid of that after the repair. So. Hopefully that will be fixed in a later version. So what I'm going to do now is just change the assign engineer and make sure that that rifleman isn't an engineer. Now you can see in the repair settings that I've got allow repair engineer only. So in other words I don't want anyone that's not an engineer class to be able to repair a vehicle. So I've spawned in as a rifleman again and as you can see I still have options to repair the vehicle even though I've set in the modules that I only want engineers to so it must be another bug now if I change in the repair settings to allow a full repair and change it to anywhere it's still set to engineer only I'll show you what the difference is there so now you can see that I have another option here repair full repair That'll repair it up to 100%. There you go. It's ready to go. So that's about it. Hopefully that's enough to get you going. Just remember there are a couple of small little bugs, so make sure that you keep up to date. Hopefully they'll be fixed soon.
Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully that's helped you out a little bit. If it has, give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you're having any more issues or if you want to get in touch. While you're here, make sure you check out my other Armour 3 videos and subscribe if you like what you see. Till next time, I'll see you later.